Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create this really fast procedural clay ceramic material in Blender, so let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to be using this little cup here and I'm going to call it clay. Now, to create this material first, we will need a Voronite texture. connected to the base color and we need to control T so we have our mapping node in here and let's put into object okay so now we can see our little dots what we are going to do first is change this F1 to smooth F1 this is too much here, it's good for me. This will be our little dots in our ceramic material. So I'm going to have more control over this. I will add a color ramp and I'm going to bring them really close together. Here it is. So this is what I want to achieve. And now I want to change uh, the color of these dots. I don't want them to be black. I want them to be kind of brown. Yes, I like this. So to finish our color, we need another color ramp and we need a mix RGB. Mix RGB, change it to multiply here and connect this one to two, this color, and this one to the first one. And now we have this, this is not what we want. I want mine to be the green color and a second, a, a bit darker like this. And click clamp also, don't forget clamp. Okay, so now we can see the brown in our dots. That's because we need to change one more thing. Apart from chain to multiply, we need to put the factor all the way to one. And so now you can see that they are brown again. Okay, this is the base color, but as you saw in the beginning of the video, I had a gradient in here. So if you wanna add a gradient, most of the times, a lot of the ceramics have Two different colors and in order to do that we need to add a gradient texture a color ramp connect the color to the facts and in here the vector to our color ramp and we need to add a new mix RGB connected in here. We need to put the color to our factor and we need to create another color. So I'm going to duplicate this, put them in here. Here it is and I'm going to change the colors I think like this is good for now so now our grid is not working right and that's because we need to change some things in here and what we need to do is first I'm going to put our color ramp really close here and change to B spline and I'm also going to change this to mix. So as you can see, now we have the color that we actually gave it in here and we need to change our orientation. So go in here in the Y in the rotation and put negative 90 It's what we need right now. Yes, that's it. And I want to make the dots way smaller 
in this second color. So I'm going to, oh, sorry, it's not in this one. It's in this one. So crank them way up. Okay. Like this looks okay to me. So I choose B spline, but you can choose, for example, constants and it will be a pretty no noticeable line in here. And as you can see, the dots from the top part won't be showing in the bottom part, but I like B spline because it's a bit of a, a smoother transition. And we just need to do two more things. So our color, it's done. So let's add some roughness. So some parts will be shiny and others won't. So for that, we only need a geometry node. Connect the pointiness to our roughness and a color ramp. And now I'm going to use these sliders. As you can see, our roughness is changing. I like it like this. So it has some shine to it. And one last thing that I want to add is to look a bit more like clay, we need to add displacement. So to do that, we are actually going to use a few more notes. So, uh, Musgrave texture. I'm gonna to take this out of the way. A Musgrave texture, a mix, RGB, connect the height to the color one and connect the color to to object like so and now we need a mapping node mapping node connect the color to our vector a Voronoi texture and another color ramp. Okay. Distance to the factor. And the last note for this to work, obviously it's displacement. Connect the color to our height and our displacement in our displacement material output. And now this looks really weird. <laughs> you need to change the material properties in here, material properties, go down, go to settings and instead of bump only change to bump and displacement you will only see this if you are in render mode if you are in, in material mode you won't be able to see it viewport shading but render mode you will be able and this is a mess right now so we need to change some values here i'm going to change this but in order for us to see a bit better, I'm going to lower this really down, like 0 0.03. It's a bit better, but I think it can be better by changing this to smooth F1 and crank this way up. Here it's good to me. You can play around with this. And yeah, this is how you create this clay ceramic material in Blender in just a few minutes. I hope you liked it. Please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week with a Christmas tutorial. Bye.